Hi, uh, thank you for visiting PianoLessonsForLife.com. Great place to come to get some tips on how to learn to play. My name is Greg. I'm your personal piano professor. And I'm here to talk to you about improvisation. Now, just for the sake of discussion, I'm going to assume you're a beginner. And you've never played the piano. And in fact, whenever I teach somebody privately, um, I want to get across to them that music isn't on a page, it's not the dots written on a page, it comes from this process, comes from your heart and your mind and, and from your fingers you know, and your skills and your brain, eye and hand, uh, and uh, that's where the music comes from and all of that comes into the uh, category of improvisation, which means to, you know, make up a melody on the fly without reading it. So anyways, when I start a student, um, I give them a few notes to play. And if you know the piano a little bit already, that's great. If not, it's okay too, because you don't need to know anything to improvise. I'm going to pick a piano sound here. Uh, there's my acoustic piano. Now, what I will do is I'll take a child or an adult in their first lesson, and I'll say, look, I'm going to give you five notes, and I give them these five, A, B, C, D, and E. Now, they don't, it doesn't matter if they know the names of those notes or not because you can improvise without knowing a thing about music. Now what I will do is I will play some chords down in my left hand here. And you can do this too. All you really need to know to, to do this is to, is to pip, put your little finger on any white note and then your middle finger on skip a note and play the next one and then your thumb on the next one. So you've got every other white note. Okay. Now, that's a chord. Three notes played together is a chord. And if you just move that up and down, playing only the white notes, you're making music. Okay. Um, it's improvisation, and uh, you don't need to know anything. You do need to be able to play those, though. And what I'll do is I'll just start playing uh, with my left hand, and I'll ask the person to go ahead and play any of those notes. Remember, A, B, C, D, and E. Uh, and uh, we'll, we'll just be getting, and even the youngest child, some of them will bang uh, like that, I mean, of course, and, you know, got to give a little direction, but most kids and even adults will naturally, instinctively play along with the, the mood of the song. Tell them you can play any note, you can play it in any order, you can use any finger. No rules for improvisation. Okay, so you can see no matter what note they play, it's going to sound good. And that's because I happen to know that if you use those notes over those chords, you really can't make a mistake. So improvisation, you just saw it. I mean... Uh, I wasn't thinking about it. It's like finger painting. Just go ahead and play. Now, if it sounds good, you repeat it. If it doesn't, you don't. And it's like uh, life. If you make a mistake, you don't repeat it. You know, that's the kind of a thing. That's how we learn. So that's what improvisation can be like for you. Um, okay. Now... Once you get some skills on the piano, in other words, you learn to know what these chords are and what scales go along with them, your improvisations can become more varied and more interesting. Um, you're going to need, eventually, to get some um, muscle memory skills on the piano. Uh, it's basically just doing finger exercises. There's lots of good finger exercises on my website, pianolessonsforlife.com. Um, basically, you know, it's a matter of knowing these chords and how they go together. And also, um, scales. Now, you know, that's a finger exercise. And when you get better at that, you can not play with one finger. Uh, one thing that people are going to uh, you're going to need to know is when you take this scale on up, um, to play... You're going to have to learn to cross fingers, thumb underneath, and fingers over.
those kind of skills you get from doing hand and exercises and other exercises that I can recommend. But improvisation, bottom line, is uh, just reaching out and there's a lot of benefits to it. It's very relaxing, it focuses the mind, and uh, it, it lets you know that you can be creative on the spot. So let me just uh, improvise a little for you and I'll use those chords that we've been using. Okay, I'm going to use some four part chords. Improvisation, good or bad, I don't know. You be the judge. Uh, uh, unless you record it, it'll probably never come out the same way again, too. Um, so that's all I wanted to say about improvisation. Get started now. I'm going to put up a lot of different lessons about how we can improve on our improvisation. And thanks again for visiting PianoLessonsForLife.com. Hope you got something out of this lesson, and hope you'll take your time to contact me with some questions or suggestions. Uh, I get a lot of help from you guys on what to put up on the website. And uh, happy playing, and uh, I hope you're getting a lot out of music. Thanks for coming, and come back again, because I'm always putting new things up.